Welcome guys to the course. We are going to talk about Aspen Heises and the basics on process modeling. Now, I'm very happy that you enrolled to this course, that you are willing to start your career as a process simulation engineer, or maybe even you have been working already on process simulation and you want to see more on Aspen Heises, maybe on petroleum, petrochemical processes, and so on. Whatever the case you enroll, you are making a great decision. Now let's see what are we going to cover. First, we're going to see the importance on process modeling. Why is it advantage for us engineers to know about it? What can we do? Typically, we talk about optimization and process analysis. Then we continue with the several process modeling out in the industry. Aspen Plus, Aspen Hisis, Coco, maybe even DWSIM and maybe Pro2 and so on, several comparisons and especially about the versions. We continue with the user interface. We learn about how to open, how to save and how to interact with the different buttons that you may find, different windows, some ribbons, some tabs, the environment and so on. Then we continue with how to get help on Aspen ISIS. Typically, the most recommended is always go directly to the help button. You know, it's a question mark. It is very full guide on how to get help on Aspen ISIS. Also, how to get it from forums, typical forums online. You can also find Aspen ISIS community on Aspen Plus website and so on. Then we continue now with the interesting part, which is the physical property environment. What do we see here is essentially how to set up components and how to set a fluid package. Now, very important that if you're going to be working with petroleum or oil or assays, petroleum assays, you need to work here. We're not going to see that much on petroleum in the basic course, but it's very important that you know how it works. Then we continue with this, the simulation environment, which is the next environment, and we talk about the flow sheet. Why is it important? How can we manipulate it? How can we work on it? How to add specific unit operations and so on. Then we continue with the most important part of all, unit operations. How to use different unit operations, mixers, T's, separators, columns, reactors, pressure changers, and so on. We talk about heat exchangers, separators such as the flash, also the columns, the pump, compressor, and reactors. Now that we see, of course, we are not going to cover all the unit operations that will take a lot of time and it's not in the scope of a basic course, but at least you know the basics. That, and now that you know the basics on unit operations, we continue with reports. How to get results on, the, on those unit operations? How do we get the work? Why, why is it good for us to export data to Excel and so on? And finally, but not least, and actually this is all the integration of what we learn, is how to work on case studies. Case study number one is about flashes of hydrocarbon. Case study number two is about toluene production from, I don't remember right now, it's Xane, yeah. So you will see how a reactor works, how we separate the flow rates and so on. And exercise number three is about pressure changers. How can we use pumping, piping, how can we model the compressor, and so on. And after that, guys, I will give you a final case study for you to work, which is the individual case study. So I give you the statement, you work it, and I show you my results. Then you compare with my results and see how well does your data fit with mine. And doesn't mean that I'm correct, doesn't mean that you are incorrect, it just means that the beauty of engineering is that several engineers will have different interpretations of the process and eventually what you want to get is very real life results. And at the end, we just give a small review on what we learned, a wrap up, and I recommend you further courses for your training. So guys, this is everything for this video. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the course. Whatever doubt you may have, just let me know. I always check it via discussion board, via direct message, via email, I am always here for you.